Today on Diksha, we look at fulfilling our purpose in life. A lot of us have grand ideas on what our purpose in life is and also what the purpose of life is. And the honest or the starting point to finding such an answer is realizing that we don't know the purpose of life and most of the times we don't know our purpose. And the reason I say that that's the first uh, step is because following that step, there is naturally the question, well, what is my purpose? And what is the purpose of life? And from there we contemplate from an early age, it's better to contemplate it at an early age, what the purpose of life is. Because as we get older and enter adulthood and begin working and begin taking responsibilities, the time to contemplate this diminishes but also uh, there is a high possibility that we may have started in a particular direction and after deep contemplation realize that our life should be heading in another direction and so it's very difficult to change mid part the direction that we have taken now with regard to the my purpose in life, the question of what is my purpose in life or what role do I play, we uh, like to assume grand ideas of changing the world and making a difference and becoming wealthy, becoming famous and all these things which are, well, they are possibility. But what we have to realize is that the human race and let's say Dharma, sana Dharma, which is a way of life and Sanatana Dharma, which is the eternal principle of life, has functioned before we arrived and will continue functioning long after we have gone. And so based on that, we must realize that the purpose of our life may not even be achieved within our lifetime. And the reason I phrase that in this way is that, let's say, for example, at a, here in Trinidad, um, somebody who is 20 or 30, day, 30 years old of, let's say, uh, East Indian descent or African descent or any cultural descent, but descent is a factor that they have achieved some uh, great scientific breakthrough. As an example, it's an, it's an example we're making. Now, there are a lot of factors that have come into play for this individual to exist in Trinidad and Tobago at this point in time with the technology available to achieve what they have achieved. And so, if we take steps back, then it was by design or by coincidence that their parents got together when they got together in a particular time and had this individual and then we can step back to where the, the ancestors of this individual got on a boat or a plane if it was recent migration, left their country, came over here. And so we can see at each stage that the purpose of that individual's life was to do that one thing. So the purpose of, the, of their ancestors was to migrate to Trinidad and Tobago and establish a family and work so that this young person would be born to achieve this great thing. Now the, the ancestor's name would not be praised when this person is awarded most likely it will be the parents who will be tanked a bit. But each individual played a very important role. Even the people who taught this individual in school would have played a very important part 
in firstly educating this person, but also molding the young mind of the person and the attitudes of the person, the co-workers, the people who supported this person in development, and also materially speaking in uh, terms of giving this person a job, uh, providing food, the, the people who did farming, everything for that individual to have existed. So we are taking the purpose of life away from only focusing on that one individual. So that was the purpose of that person's life. Well, what about the other people who live what we consider mundane uh, lives who would have directly contributed to this person existing in this point in time, in history, at this location? And so it gives new meaning or it gives new light, rather, when we think about what is our purpose in life. And it's good, it, the good and bad have to be considered. So for example, if it was a person of African descent, that means most likely that their ancestors would have been enslaved and brought to this part of the world and gone through all the treatment of a slave and then their descendants and then this person would have been born. Now nobody's saying that slavery is a good thing, but in terms of the timeline of ancestry and all the development, all the great uh, African-American leaders that we consider, for example, Martin Luther King and Barack Obama, would have followed the same circumstances in terms of ancestry. And similarly with the East Indians and the Chinese who went through indentorship. So it's very important for us to realize that sometimes the purpose on life is to ensure the continuation of life. I'm not speaking strictly about um, having offspring and raising that offspring so that they too will have offspring, but it is the, co is it is the values and the principles that we pass down through the generations and the principles and values that we also fail to pass down through the generations that shape the future of life which is what we think when we consider our purpose of life, which is, I would like to think that I will change the world someday. As a, somebody maybe with a grandiose idea of a of grand or big change in the world. But it very well may be that my offspring, my children, would be the way that I change the world, and not so much that I directly change the world. So it brings with it a form of humility. When we think about the fact that our purpose in life is simply to be a good human being. And by that I mean to be fully adept or to fully fulfill the rules of being a good, let's say, child to our parents, a good student to our teachers, a good co-worker, a good boss, a good father or wife, a good father or mother, husband or wife, sibling, that we have all these roles to fulfill, which contribute directly to us affecting the world. Now it's not about downplaying the grand personalities who are praised for bringing about great change. But what we have to realize is society and culture is a system. It's not based on one individual. And in modern times, we tend to, we tend to place a figurehead on success to use as an example to say, okay, well, this person was a successful businessman or spiritual leader or religious leader or a humanitarian, and so we strive to be like this individual. But what we must realize is that the purpose of our life is to maximize our potential and be a full individual to ourselves. 
And in doing so, we fulfill a part of the whole. And that in itself is a very important part or purpose of life. So in closing on, today's, on that topic, it is by no way downplaying grand purposes for mass uh, population benefit that will benefit a lot of people. If that's the feeling that you get inside, but one must realize that in our duty to ourself, by extension, we fulfill the duty to others. And so we directly affect life. So I would like to thank you for joining me on Diksha, right here on Sankhya Television, the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, and your number one choice for inspirational, cultural, and spiritual programming.